Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at the brand new CS Live service called CS Review. Now the CS Live set of services integrate well with the Creative Suite 5 products. So what we can do is with CS Review we can solve the age-old problem of sending out documents for review but not only just sending the documents and getting comments back but actually getting the comments back inside the application that you created the document in. So let's take a look at how we can initiate a review inside of InDesign and then make some comments and see what happens inside of InDesign once we do this. So let's head over to InDesign CS5 and what I've done here is I've got a document open and I'm on one of the particular spreads that I want to have reviewed. Now the first problem I see is this looks pretty bad. It's an Illustrator placed file and the reason it probably looks pretty bad is my uh, display performance is on typical. So let's go ahead and change that to high quality display. Ah, and then that sharpens up pretty well. And again, that didn't matter for sending it out for the review. I just wanted to show that tip. All right, so next, where are the CS review or CS services? And if you go in the upper right hand corner of InDesign, you'll see the CS Live button. And under that button, you'll have the ability to sign in. I'm already signed in and this uses your Adobe ID. Once you sign in, then you can go ahead and say create a new review. And of course this is free to do um, for the first year at least once you have Creative Suite 5. Now let's go ahead and uh, create the new review. We'll call this new review, I don't know, how about uh, fr on a Friday afternoon? Because that's what it is, it's a Friday afternoon. And of course we want to add the current document to the review. Great. Now the next thing it wants to do is it wants us to save it if because it wants to know the current state of the document before it sends it off to review. So we'll do a save as because I don't want to screw up my other one. And the save as uh, should come up here. Okay, we don't want to we don't want to create that review. Here, let's do this. All right, let's try that again. There we go, save as. Now it's gonna ask us to save it, and we'll save this out on the desktop. And once it's been saved out, then the next dialog box we get is all about uploading this content for review. Now, the first thing I get is the page range. Do I want the entire document, the current spread, or particular pages? I do want just the current spread. Next is the quality that it's going to output or upload. And you're saying, well, wait a minute, it's an InDesign document. What, what do I have to set quality for? That's because it's not actually sending up the entire document. It's sending a snapshot of the document. So you're picking the quality of that snapshot. And naturally, I want to view it online after it's done. Now, I'm only doing that this time because I want to be able to walk you through it. But once you get in the habit of this, you don't have to view it online. You can just say upload and it'll be there. So once I say upload, what it's doing now, and here I'll pull the panel up so you can see it, is it's uh, creating the review, it's adding the parts that I told it, and again, it doesn't call them pages, it calls them parts, because it could be a Photoshop document, and that's not necessarily a page, that's a part of the review. So this works inside of Photoshop Illustrator and InDesign. And then, once it uploads, it takes me to CS Review Online, which is really a part of Acrobat.com. Once I'm there, I will see the document that I uploaded. This is great. And more importantly, um, I, I can already see it in InDesign, so it's more important that my customers can see it. So let's go ahead and say share file, and I'll get the ability to do it two ways. Um, the new Acrobat.com supports personal workspaces. So you can create a workspace so that anyone you invite to that workspace automatically have, has access to any reviews you put inside of it. You can also say share it with an individual, which is more likely what you're going to do. You're going to put in or paste in all the email addresses that you want to share this with, uh, give it a subject, give it a description, and you get the choice of making them co-authors or reviewers. Now the difference is a co-author can um, not only participate and add comments, but they can actually add parts to the review. So if you're working in a group where someone's going to be doing the Photoshop work and someone else is going to be doing the InDesign work and someone else is going to be doing the Illustrator work, then they can add their parts to the review as well. Otherwise, you would just make the person a reviewer and that person can just simply add comments. Now, once you send that off and it's doing it directly out of the system, you don't have to launch your email program, they will get an email that they click on and take some straight to your review online. 
So the beauty of this is the person that's reviewing it doesn't even have to know anything about Creative Suite, doesn't have to own Creative Suite. This is all free for the reviewer to use and participate in. They don't. All they need is their web browser and, of course, the Flash Player inside their web browser to be able to participate in this. Now, uh, I, can, I can't read this. How do I know this text is any good? So I can go ahead and zoom in on it. That's right. That's why the quality of the snapshot is important. I can pan around inside the document. I can get real up close and personal with all the text. And now I can start making my comments. So there are different types of comments you can make. So for example, if I want to add a comment to the entire part, I just click the add comment button and you notice it puts a red square around the whole thing. Love the layout. Okay, great. So save that and that comment will appear on the right hand side. And now we can go ahead and start drilling down. So maybe I want to add a comment about this light. So I can actually put a box around that light and I can say uh, too dark. Okay, so that's my comment for that. And I can actually just click to make a comment. It doesn't have to be a, a, that I draw anything. Uh, love the cloud, make two. All right, great. And last but not least, uh, this is unique to InDesign, and that is if we zoom back in like we were before, InDesign not only can uh, make all of the types of uh, marks or comments that we talked about, but InDesign, or InDesign as far as CS Review is concerned, it knows that this is text. So I can actually, even though this is kind of a snapshot, I can highlight the text that I want to make a comment about and say uh, things like too wordy. Don't you love those kind of comments? All right, so we'll save that. And now I've made my four comments. And again, I, I'm making my own comments on my own review, but think about this as all the people you sent this to making comments. Then when we pop back over to InDesign, InDesign not only has been keeping track of the review, but it's also been keeping track of the comments. It knows that four comments have been made so far. So I can click to drill down on those comments and I can see that what comments were made, but that doesn't really help me much. I want to talk about, well, what's too dark? So if I drill down on, actually, if I click on this to drill down on it, it will actually take me to the, or show me the spot that's too dark. Now I'm in my document and let's say I'm on a different page and I can't find, you know, here I'll scroll to a different page. I don't know where that thing is that he's talking about. You know, what's, what's too dark? So you notice down here at the bottom, there's a button that looks like a little uh, video camera and it says, show the comments and layout. All right, well, that's great if I'm on that page, but there's a button next to that that says, go to the comment and layout. And not only will it take me to the comment, but if I say, uh, there, if we click on it again, Oh, I know why. You got to be out of preview mode. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back to normal mode here. There we go. Can't see anything while you're in preview because preview hides all the non-printing items. So if that ever happens to you, you know why. So I'm out of preview mode. I'm back in normal, and now I can see the comments in place. So I can see the parts that got marked on. If I scroll uh, down, I can see the box that had the text comment. So let's say where it says too wordy. I can say, take me to that, and it will take me to that spot that's too wordy. And now I can go ahead and make my changes and upload a new copy or new version to be reviewed once all the changes have been made. Now, you can also interact with the people that made the comments. So, for example, I can say, hey, you know what? I want to reply to this uh, too dark, and uh, sorry, it's what the client wants. So, we're not going to change that one. So, I just replied to it. And I can reply to this one too. I can say, uh, let's do a flag and say approved. So that one gets an approved flag and we'll just say thanks. Okay, great. So now what happens? I've done all of this inside of InDesign. If we pop back over to the browser, well, where it says uh, too dark, for example, it says one reply and I can click to see what the one reply is. And so my, my people that are doing the commenting We'll see what I've replied to or other people have replied to. And in InDesign, I'm seeing where the comments are being made and what needs to be changed. So that's a quick look at CS Review, a part of the CS Live services that integrate with your Creative Suite 5 products. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.